Hello everyone and welcome back to my gardening and growing channel. So I'm going to be doing a couple things today. Um, one thing is just looking at my ghost pepper here and the leaves are looking kind of pale. I don't remember if these leaves always get pale um, like that. But uh, anyway, what I'm going to do today is uh, give them some fertilizer. I'm going to use this Fox Farm right here. Um, I don't believe this is all organic, um, but it's a good fertilizer. As you can see, it's 644. has a good amount of nitrogen in it, so it should green up these leaves right here. Um, some of the other plants look really green, so I'm not really sure if that's it, but I'm going to go ahead and give it that fertilizer anyway. And, and this fertilizer, so all I do is take it and mix it in a watering can and uh, do it that way. I just follow the directions on the back of the, just follow the directions on the back of the um, fertilizer, whichever one you use. Um, and another thing I'm going to do is, well you can see there's, um, peppers growing on this ghost pepper here, green. Um, what I'm going to do is mark probably this one right here. You can see the flowers aren't opened yet and I'm going to go ahead and move it to another location on my property away from these peppers so I can isolate it and get some seeds. Um, if not, it'll, it'll probably have been cross-pollinating because I have all these peppers right next to each other. So when you do that, what you want to do is make sure that the um, flower bud has not opened yet. Um, see, this one here hasn't opened yet either. You can see it, so that would be okay to mark there. Um, but what you want to do is that, because if it's already opened, it could have been cross-pollinated. So, here's another cool pepper. Here's my Chinese, I mean, sorry, my blue Christmas pepper. These beautiful leaves on this. Look at the colors of the different peppers. So I call it Christmas pepper because it's got all those different lights. So it looks like a Christmas tree. So it's, it's really a nice pepper. Another thing I wanted to show you a few weeks ago, um, I took some suckers from some of the tomato plants and I put them in water and they rooted. And here's what they look like now. They're pretty good size. So I'm going to have to plant them here. I'll probably do it this weekend. It's even got a flower on it right there, but they look really good. So, see what you can do with the suckers from the from your tomato plants. They turn out uh, really nice. So, anyway, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. Thanks, and have a great day.